Thank you very much for joining me here at Cape Cod Package Store, Fine Wine and Spirits in Centerville, Massachusetts, Cape Cod. I happen to be with wine manager Diane Slater, who has been a friend, um, a connoisseur of wines, and uh, well, today she wants to take me on a journey, a liquid geography journey. It's always a journey here, John, always. Yes, it is. How are you today? I'm doing fine. You know, these units that you have here at the store are not just only this particular one. You have another that has like 24 different bottles. Yes, and that would be all the red wines. Uh -huh. This is our, um, the chill uh, unit. So this has all the white wines and rosés that are served at the proper temperature chilled. Mm -hmm. um, and then the red wines are out. And it's cool in here. So they are room temperature, but it's pretty cool in here. They're not on cellar temperature, but they're still showing well as they, you come in and drink them and they're showing well. Yeah. And we've talked before about wine temperatures, and especially red wines. You know, a lot of people, the misnomer is, you know, to keep it at room temperature. But make sure that you don't keep it in the trunk, or you don't keep it anywhere where there's really No, don't heat. put it anywhere. You wouldn't leave a dog in a car. You wouldn't leave a bottle of wine. If you wouldn't leave groceries in the car or ice cream, don't leave your wine in there either. There's nothing like drinking cooked wine. No, it's, it's really quite awful. And the other thing is, don't be afraid on a hot day if you're doing a cookout, just chill the wine for 20 minutes and bring it down to about 56 degrees as opposed to 70 something you know like you can taste some things here but if you bring it home and you're doing a cookout you know don't be afraid to put it on a little bit of ice to bring the temperature down and uh, what uh, I've talked about on my radio show as well as uh, talking with you personally is that this liquid geography is a uh, well a, 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 a a service of Cape Cod Package Store that uh, takes you from one end of the world to the other. It is, and it's, you know, it's very helpful for us and it's very helpful for the customers. Um, it eliminates buyer's remorse. So if I suggest something to someone, it gives them a chance perhaps to taste it and they go, oh my gosh, I love that. And I never would have thought I would have liked something like that. That has happened a lot with rosés. People didn't know they liked rosés until they tasted them. Then they realized that they love them. Um, Sometimes they'll taste something and perhaps they won't like it, but they were in love with the label. And now they, before they buy it, they've learned that maybe I should not always base everything on just how pretty the label or how it appeals to me. It also is a great aid in wine education. It gives people a chance to taste grapes they've never had, uh, regions of the world they've never had. And for me, it sort of serves as a way of diagnosing their palate, if you will. So they come in, they taste something, um, and they'll say, oh, you know, I'm not really sure. I like that, but I'm not really sure. Okay, then I'll take them to something else. And they'll be like, no, that's really not really for me. Then I kind of know what it is they like and what they don't like. And then I take them into the next one. And usually by the third one, if not before that, they're like, no, I like that a lot. And that's how, so you learn some people like things that are more stony and mineral and high acid and clean and crisp. Other people like that buttery, more round, opulent, you know, full fruit flavor, a little tropical. So they come in and then you get to figure out what they like and then you can, it's really, a, it's sort of like personal customized sales for them, sure. which is nice. And they're guided all the way through with somebody like yourself mm -hmm. and uh, your, your wine's assistants uh, that uh, just tell them about what the wines, where they come from and uh, it's noted there about the price too. Yep, yeah, the prices are in red and usually up here on the stainless steel part of the machine are usually tasting notes. We're just doing this segment before the tasting notes have gone up, but they're always tasting notes up on the machine so that if I'm not here, they can come in and they can read a little bit about it. And I hear people say that they really like the tasting notes so they'll taste something and go, oh, it is more like fig. I, I wouldn't have been able to figure out that flavor, but when I read it, I know that, you know, or something like that. Now, is there a charge for this? No, it's completely complimentary. Um, we do ask that the only trade-off is we ask for your email address so that we can keep connected to you through the store, let you know when we're doing wine dinners, um, which is, gives them a chance to see you again as well, of course. And, and seminars, we do seminars. They mostly begin in September and run through the winter. The summer is just a little bit too busy for that. Uh, but just when the machines change every month, you get a notification that, hey, there's all new wines on the machine. You might want to come in and taste them. And just different things that are happening, you know. And eventually we're going to lead that into a wine club where you'll be able to get um, sort of a chance to buy some things that aren't in the store and get a discount and be on like a wine of the month. That's where we're going eventually. And you do have a, um, a, a wine cellar for fine wine and spirits that is so unusual. The fact that you have some wines there that are collectors. 
Well, yeah, we call it like the lay down room. So, um, you know, we talked about temperature earlier and although this room is air conditioned and quite comfortable, especially when you come in from outside, the, the lay down room is really uh, kept at 56 degrees so that things do cellar well. Um, just like, you know, the idea of an old root cellar, but it's a little bit, you know, prettier than that. And uh, we do have some, that's where we keep a lot of the higher end burgundies, uh, um, hard to find Cabernets from California, some things from Washington State, which needs, I think, a little more notice, um, and Italy. And so we have a little bit more of the world in there, but things that are allocated and hard to find. We keep them in there for, and we age them for you. So sometimes people come in and they come in and they find something that's, you know, in 1995, and they're like, "Wow, I've always wanted to drink that. Now I get the chance, and it's ready." You know. Uh, we're going to take a very short break. Come back and talk more about the store itself, the Cape Cod Package Store, that's been here since infamy. Uh, <laughs> but since how long now? Well, actually, this is the year of our 75th anniversary, so the family is very excited. It's, um, you know, they, the family began this uh, as soon as Prohibition ended, which was brilliant, brilliant move. And it's grown a lot. I mean, it was always a small little store in Centerville, and uh, now it's really been redone. You know, the daughters took over, Danette and Andrea, and uh, this was Andrea's vision to have a, a big, you know, really a wine focus. And so it's a whole new store. It's really a privilege to work here. Well, I will be back in two minutes at two sips. Well, thank you very much for joining me back here at the Cape Cod Package Store Fine Wine and Spirits here on Route 28 in Centerville, Massachusetts, Cape Cod. I am here with wine manager and connoisseur, uh, who uh, is probably not just only a dear friend, but I'm the kind of go-to person when I'm uh, judging wines. And that is Diane Slater. I'm well, thanks, John. Nice to have you here. Yeah, again, uh, we're going to be tasting some wines from your liquid, ge well, what do you call this section? Liquid geography for white wines. But yeah, I mean, it's an enomatic machine from Italy, but we call it our liquid geography uh, room because these machines allow you to taste wine from all different regions and gives you maybe the same wine, but in two different places so you can see how differently it's expressed when it comes from a different region. And you're going to make it happen for me today? I am going to have, yeah, you're going to have to taste, so, okay. you know. I see you all the time in, in the, with the chefs. You never right. turn down in a taste, so you can't turn me down either. All right. So let me, uh, very briefly over here, we have two rosés. One is a Sancerre rosé, and then Grand Cassagne Costier de Nîmes. Uh, Bruner Veltliner, which is a, tr if you like Sauvignon Blanc, you should be falling in love with Bruner. Uh, and a couple of things, and they usually run from dry to sweet. Sometimes we don't have sweet, so from here it runs from light bodied down to a little heavier bodied. We have even a white burgundy, but there is a Chardonnay in here that I'd like you to taste called Clam Bay, because it's so appropriate for the Cape, and it's a beautiful label, but it's a delicious wine, and it's been a real hit, so I'm gonna, this is all you need to do is the glass goes under, and there you go, voila. That actually gives the right amount. Yeah, it's just really all you need, so sometimes we tell people to just mm. take um, a small sip in the first place when you taste wine, just, a little nose on it, and then roll it around your mouth. And then in the second sip, when you taste it, you'll really get to know the wine. Your brain needs a little bit of time yeah, to adjust right. to it. Um, get rid of toothpaste, whatever, you, you know, people come in, they've just had, you know, whatever it is, so. Yeah, I like that. And it seems like every time I've come in here, you do have some specials at the, uh, the register. Oh yeah, we run out. our daily, uh, daily sales, and then um, we're always trying to do specials. And I try to shop in my pencil, you know, as best I can. Um, and I, the, really what I try to do is, I believe that everyone should drink well. I don't really, uh, what your budget is, is of no matter. You should, everyone should have an ability to have a nice bottle of wine with dinner. So whatever your price point, we can find you something really quite nice. And, and it'll enhance your, deal, your meal. Yeah, and you do have a case price? We do 10% uh, off on six bottles, 15% off on a case. If you get more than a case, which is, uh, say you do two cases and that's 24 bottles or more, you're at 20%. And so, you know, considering our price in the first place, that 20% is nice. A lot of people, oh, two cases of wine. I'm like, it's two weeks. You know, you buy all your utilitarian wine and a few nice bottles for dinner and let the games begin, John. You know, yeah. never enough wine. Let's face it, it's Cape Cod, never enough. And of course, you, you being proficient, uh, you know a little bit uh, about the wine dinners that you've, you've uh, uh, been uh, in charge of and speaking at. Um, people ask, because they're cooking a particular dish, what type of wine that they should be served? 
You know, it's funny, a lot of times people come in and they just say, I'm looking for a red, and then I'll say, well, what are you going to do with it? Are you having it with dinner? And then I ask them what they're having for dinner. And sometimes it makes a difference um, if they're having a grilled ribeye steak or they're having a pork chop, you know? Um, are they, if they're having fish, are they having it with sun-dried tomatoes and capers? Because that's going to be a little bit different than if it's, you know? Are artichokes, asparagus going to be on the plate? So things like that. So I try to really find out, and I, I, I ask the crew here a lot to find out what people are having with dinner so they can, you can really sort of cater it just to what they're doing with it and, and their particular purpose and what their dinner is that night. And, and the other wine you'd like me to try, try? Well, the other wine I'd like you to try, I think, is a rosé, because I'm we're in love with rosés here. So Sancerre is a region in the Loire Valley of France, usually known for its Sauvignon Blanc. Um, they do grow a little bit of uh, Pinot Noir and Gamay, and so this is a bleed. And so it's nice and dry. Yeah, I mean, that with seared, big seared diver scallops would be pretty delicious. We're going to dinner, yeah. Tantalizing. I make people hungry here a lot. I talk about food a lot. Yeah, you know, and what's nice too, and of course, food is a very positive subject, and wine, of course, is more positive, especially it's after a good marriage. your first, first class. Um, you know, I, one of the reasons I've actually shopped here myself, in the sense, is that you do have different departments in different, of course, regions and countries, but you do have it also by, you know, the Zinfandels, the Merlot, and uh, the Cabs. Yeah, we do it mostly by country, so when you first walk in the wine room, on your far right against the wall where the bottles are all hanging on a horizontal, more modern approach, uh, is Austria and Germany, and then it goes into Italy, which I have a good selection from, I love Italian wines. Um, and then it moves into Portugal and Spain, which I also have a, a good selection from Spain. It's a very hot region. Uh, and South Africa, and then it comes into this section. And then on your left as you walk in the room is going to be France and then it'll go into American Cabernet, I mean um, Merlots and Cabernets and then slide around into Pinot Noirs, Chardonnay and then we have Organics and Washington State on that same left wall. But uh, a lot of the wines in here are organic but don't say it on the label. Um, it's hard to explain to people but a lot of producers don't want to put it on the label um, but they do and they have been operating in an organic fashion for sometimes a century or more, you oh, know? sure. Yeah. You've been to Vengeance and you've seen how meticulously they keep it, uh, well, I guess, uh, uh, fenced in and, and not... Oh, yeah, you know. I mean, and it's, a, it's a whole approach. You know, I mean, I think wine is really good wine and, and, and small production wine is very important if you're at all interested in the slow food movement, if you, yes. if you like whole products, whole foods, you don't want, you know, pesticides, you don't want a lot of added sulfites. Um, and sulfites are in everything we eat. It's only a very small population that has a, an allergy to it. But um, there's so many wines that, that uh, you know, are just really very clean and healthy. They're good. Drink them every day. Drink them. Yeah, and of course, we, we must not forget, even though this is a wine and spirit shop, of course, the spirits that you do have and uh, the beers, the selection of all kinds of international beers, as well as local brew. Mm -hmm. And we're growing all the time on that. Our craft beer section has been growing uh, exponentially. Uh, we're paying a lot more attention to it. Um, Spirits, the same thing, cordials even. Um, there are a lot of people that come in here and they're like, oh, nobody has this and I like to hear that, you know. Um, my goal is to get even more single malt scotches in because I think there is just never enough. It's the same thing with wine, there's just never enough. And what we have is a, a really nice arrangement of really high quality, you know, products. And then we have the everyday stuff for people, you know, there's something for everybody here, I think. It just, whatever you're looking for, we'll find it for you. And the official address for Cape Cod Package Store? Well, officially, it's 1495 Falmouth Road, so it's right at the uh, intersection of Finney's Lane and Route 28, um, and there's parking in the back, um, plenty of parking, and nicely landscaped, and it seems like we're open all the time. I mean, Sunday's the only time we have somewhat abbreviated hours, uh, but um, come in, make a new friend, come in, introduce yourself. I'd love to get to know you. The staff is very friendly. Well, carry it out to your car. We also do deliveries and you can do online buying, although we like to see you come in the store, but we know Route 28 is not always easy in the summer, and if you have company, you maybe you just want to sit down on your iPad and order it online, in which case, do it. And the website? CapeCodPackageStore.com.
can't be simpler than that. Since 1939, Cape Cod Package Store has been serving not only just the uh, Mid-Cape area, but now with delivery uh, within a reason, of course. Yeah, if we go uh, too far, there's yeah. a little delivery charge. And uh, you'll find some outstanding wines, outstanding spirits, and of course, a, a fantastic person to speak to. Well, you're very Thank kind, you. John. Thank you. Bon dia. Um, Buonasera. Uh, bonjour. bonjour. Uh, you've taken me on a little bit of a liquid geography at the same time, a little tour of Cape Cod Package Tour. Thank you again, Diane. Thank you. It's always a pleasure, John. Thank you. I'll be back, as always, do everything in good taste.